Hi Virgo, I'm Brenda and I'm here again today to bring you your Angel Tarot and Oracle reading for the month of April 2018. I want to thank you for your interest in my channel and for viewing, liking and sharing these videos with your family members and friends. As you know, this is strictly a general reading and every single card for every single day of the week cannot apply to every single person in the universe. But if you'd like clarity, accuracy and answers to any questions, I invite you to go up there and click that button and it will take you to my website where you can see the services that I offer and how to schedule either a private reading with me or a Reiki session with me. Let's start our first week off. You've been given three cards for the first week of April, the beginning, the first, the beginning of the first week, the middle of the first week and the end of the first week. And the first card you've been given is an earth card and you've been given the ten of earth. Earth cards have to do with material things in our life and often that involves our jobs, careers and our professions. But it can also have to do with people who actually are working with the ecosystem or nature and those that we consider in our closest intimate circle in our family or people that we feel close enough to bring into that circle. This tells me that right now some of you are enjoying a very happy family life. You've worked very hard. I see that there's been some struggles that you've had to deal with, some challenges that you've had to overcome. But right now you're in a really good place. So, uh, you know, we create our own karma and I believe in the law of attraction, what we believe we are and you've been believing that this can be turned around and that things can be good again. And I see that with some of you that your relationship may have been on rocky, uh, on rocky terrain and you've worked hard for this. And not just you, but your partner and those involved in the happy, to create this happy family life. Now, I do see some of you, you also are um, feeling the benefits of financial security. This is a good time for you. Uh, right now, I do see that uh, those of you, um, some of you, Virgo, Virgos, are going to experience uh, increases in your pay. Uh, per, you're going to get raises. I see a windfall coming in for some of you. I also see that some of you perhaps are getting a check in the mail from, a, you know, as a rebate or a refund on income tax or something. But I do see that right now things are really good for some of you in your financial situation as well. This is a card of, of good things. This is a card that says some of you actually are enjoying both a happy home life and financial security. But what it is wanting to send, what message it's wanting to send across to you is this. As much as we have in the material world, we need to think about the little things and the magic and the little things in life that brought us peace and happiness and bliss and joy and laughter. So we need to think back to those hungry years and say, what did I do then that didn't require money? What did I do then that brought me happiness? What did I do then that made me laugh and feel great about myself and the people around me? And that's what the message is portraying. That never forget the little things and the magic and the little things right now. No matter how good things look right now. Okay? Um, it, you know, things can always turn around. And so we need to be thinking about, you know, if we were faced with those times again in our life, what would we do to still bring ourselves that happiness and joy? So please do that. Think about what it is that you can do that does not involve money, okay? That does not involve a lot of money to make you happy. And I'm sure we can all find that. There's all kinds of things. I mean, you know, get join a club. Um, you know, go for a ride on your bike. Go for a walk. Get involved in nature. Join some charitable organization where you can give back, where you can receive some joy from serving others. And often when we do that, it makes us feel so good about ourselves, being able to share some of our wisdom and some of, uh, of what we have generously with others. On the middle of the week, in the middle of the week rather, you've been given a water card and you've been given the seven of water. Now, as you know, water cards are relationship cards and often they're intimate and often they're, uh, you know, um, romantic, but sometimes it can be platonic can be, you know, a neighbor, a friend, a co-worker, um, you know, those types of relationships as well. It shows me that there may be three other people involved in you making a decision. 
and you hold you hold the power okay you're the one that has to make this decision and they're sort of standing back in the background saying okay fine you know we've put all of this on the table all these ideas um, perhaps it has to do with your job okay perhaps it's an organization you join um, perhaps it is a personal uh, issue within the family circle because this is the water card and you need to do your research okay that shows me that there's more research that has to be done you need to find out uh, you know cross your T's and dot your I's and find out more information about this situation before you make this decision they call it a complex decision so you're gonna have to do some work to um, find out all that you need to know before you make it uh, it shows me that it is going to be um, work for you to do. You're going to have to, you know, do some research. And that you're finding it already overpowering some of you. You don't want to make this decision. So you're kind of procrastinating and putting it on the shelf and saying, yeah, okay, I'll get to it. But this card is advising you as a cautionary, you need to get on it now. Okay, so don't procrastinate. Do your homework do your research and make that decision because it's going to be up to you. I see that this decision is going to be laid on in your lap and you're going to have to do it. At the end of the first week of April, Virgo, you've been given the Emperor and that is a major card. Now, it's funny how we talked about the Seven of Water and you having to do your research and do to, in order to make this, uh, this decision, but now the Emperor's come into play and it's all about you being organized and being logical, and being structured, and being disciplined, okay? And also, that you are taking the leadership in this role. So this is very, very, um, this is very, very profound for that first week of April, with having had that seven of water come out, talking about this decision you've gotta make, because it's you that has to do it. But I, what this is saying is that you have leadership qualities. You have the power within you, and you can do this. So step up to the plate, and know that uh, others are depending on you and they're relying on you and they're trusting you okay so you can do this you can take the leadership role I do see some of you this will be involving your career this will have to do with your work okay with your profession all right with others I see you may have got involved in some sort of projects that you either were you either volunteered to take on or someone recommended you because you were so wise and you had all the information uh, you know that you needed to have to do this project uh, that you're working on so please know regardless of whether it's your work for some of you whether it's you know um, a project that you're or an organization you've got involved in and I mentioned that too in the seven of water I was seeing that that you will be able to take up the leadership okay they're waiting for you to make this decision and they're waiting for you to lead them uh, the second week the beginning of the second week of April you've been given another water card and this is the nine of water Virgo and this is this is a wonderful card because this is the ultimate romance card this is telling me that for some of you you've met your partner your life partner um, that you're very very happy and you're in the honeymoon stage so to say and that your dream comes true this is for those who have been wondering when am I going to meet the one when am I going to you know um, be able to have a life partner when is my life going to change in my romantic to, in the romantic part of my life this is a card saying get ready it's coming okay some of you you've already just met this person but it's coming and um, it's going to be amazing because it's just going to be that's it and you know we we often talk about love at first sight but when there is a big connection and it often happens with soulmates and especially with our twin flames when we meet it's as though wow where have you been I've missed you um, you feel as though you've known each other before and it's amazing 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 card for the beginning of the second week of April for you Virgo so get ready for uh, Cupid to come in in the middle of the second week you've been given a great card you have been given the chariot and this is a great card about success okay um, it's a card that shows me that some of you have been working on projects uh, and being involved in um, working on a situation in your life that was challenging but you've been able to now um, accomplish it okay successfully so you need to pat yourself on the back and or take all the um, 
compliments that you're getting from others around you for the job well done. Also, I see that it was only because of your own self-discipline and your own willpower that you were able to make this situation in your life turn out so good for you. It shows me that some of you have had difficult times. And this was a big feat, a big leap of faith. So, you know what? You need to know that the universe understands this was a great leap of faith for you to do. Now, some of you, I see, have been working towards um, advancing in your job, okay, in your profession. I see that some of you will be actually getting a promotion within the company or your place of employment uh, there. I see that some of you um, may be receiving an award, okay? So as I spoke in the beginning, a job well done. You've accomplished something that was difficult and challenging, okay? And it was an achievement and a leap of faith, and people are going to recognize that and commend you for it in the form of some of you are actually going to be receiving an award for all this hard work you've put out. So maybe some of you are in the entertainment industry, and you're getting an award for, um, you know, either... Um, you know, a movie that you've done, or um, some of you are in sales, and you've worked your way up, and you've achieved the sales quota and more, okay? So I do see this has to do with work. It has to do with um, promotion there within what you're doing in your career, and the endeavors that you're making, I mean, is amazing. They're showing me. So you deserve this. This is a wonderful card. Pat yourself on the back, my friend, for what you've done, what you've achieved. And it was no easy feat they're showing me either. Now, the card also signifies, because the chariot is a form of transportation, that some of you are actually going on a trip. For some of you, I see it will involve your job. Some of you, I see you may be actually leaving the position and the job you're in now. Perhaps through this promotion, they've said, okay, this is your promotion. This is what we need you to do. Now we're expanding your, 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 uh, your, your area, and you're going to have to move and start traveling more for your job. For others, I do see a beautiful holiday coming up uh, and a vacation. At the end of the second week, you've been given a fire card, the two of fire. And fire cards have to do with your self-development. It has to do with doing things you normally wouldn't do, going places you normally wouldn't go. Man, these cards are so falling in line from the previous cards. So it's all about where you're going in life and where you want to be, okay? So it's self-development. And it's telling me again, you've come into your own. This is a great week for some of you Virgos. It's amazing, and I do see that some of you, it'll have to do with your jobs and your careers, you're going to be signing contracts, okay? You're going to be agreeing to uh, the terms and the regulations and uh, the quote, quoted quotes that they've given you and whatever. You're going to be agreeing to that, and you're going to be signing contracts. For others, I see you may be um, dueling up with someone in business. You may be deciding to sign a contract. Okay, sign this contract with a partnership is what I want to say. You're going to be signing that, okay, partnerships with these contracts, some of you. Now, I do see this as a positive move. Hey, you're making more money. You're working your way up the corporate ladder. Some of you are doing that. Some of you are being able to expand your own business. You've done so well, and now you're at the point where um, you need uh, extra help and so you have a partner coming in. Now for some of you I see that you may have borrowed money to start this business off and now you're able to clear that debt. Okay, so they're showing me that as well with this. So you've come into your own, you've worked hard for this and so you know pat yourself on the back this is a wonderful card telling you that you're moving forward continually on your path, that this is a good direction, and things are working out. On In the middle of the week, I want to keep saying on because I used to say on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, uh, but in the middle of the week of April, the first of that week, you've been given a major card again, and you have been given the release card. Now, the release card for some of you is all about... Um, moving on. It's time to move on. 
Okay, don't uh, some of you have been in a situation where um, you're you've reached the pinnacle of where you can go, um, and it could be in a relationship, it could be with your job, it could be with where you want to go with your career, but it's it's the end of a phase or a situation. Now, in a lot of cases, it has to do with relationship transitions. Okay, um, where you may be parting ways. Some of you may be leaving a relationship or a marriage. Some of you may be leaving a partnership, okay, that could be business partnership. But you need to know that it's not the right thing now to stay in this position because you're not gaining anything, okay. You've outgrown this situation, um, they're showing me. So it's going to uh, basically um, make you feel, some of you feel relieved, although some of you may feel sadness too because often this type of change is, is so... Um, it's so important and so profound in our lives that we do get different emotions floating around there. If it is a relationship uh, transition, for some of you it may be sad, okay? But what you need to know is, I'm being shown that your family members and friends are going to be there. They're, they're going to advocate for you. They're going to support you. They're going to hold you up through these times if you're having a hard time with this. Okay, with this release. For others, going in a good direction, you're going to have your friends there patting you on the back and helping you along the way. So it's time to move on. That's what the release is about. You've outgrown this situation and know that um, you're not, it's not doing you any good to stay in the remaining situation. Okay, you've outgrown it. In the middle of that third week of April, you've been given a water card, the King of Water. And again, another relationship card. So this is your third and final relationship card. Um, this is all about you opening your heart more to the people around you, okay? And um, you're going to be taking some advice. Someone's going to be coaching you. Someone's going to be helping you get through an issue. Perhaps this has to do with that release card and, and, the, and the relationship transition some of you are going through and the parting of ways there that, you know, with this card following that one, it could be very much uh, the, the interpretation of this card for that. It shows me that someone's going to be giving you advice and it will be trustworthy and heartfelt. Someone's going to be there for you. Someone's going to be there to put their arm around you and say, you know what, we're going to get through this. You're going to get through this and I'll be here by your side when you do. Some of you, I see you're going to be getting involved in paying it forward. I see that some of you are either cleaning out your closets and taking things to, you know, goodwill. Uh, some of you may be um, organizing something in uh, to help someone else in a pay it forward way uh, that's charitable and giving to the less fortunate. Okay, so I do see some of you are going to be getting involved in some sort of charitable uh, organization. Now some of you may be working actually for types of uh, businesses that do this or uh, a charity organization. At the end of the third week you have been given another major card and you've been given the dreamer. And again this is all about taking leaps of faith. This is all about you know uh, wanting to manifest our goals and where it is we want to go in our life and our dreams. Okay, some of you, it may be your bucket list. Some of you may be wanting to plan the, you know, a world trip. Some of you, they show me, may be making those plans and saying you've worked hard to do this. Um, some of you may be wanting to uh, open a business, okay, and you're wondering about finances. Well, they're showing me that there may be some unexpected opportunities coming in to help you with that. So do not let yourself get down, okay. So you need to be um, optimistic right now. Any challenges that are coming into you right now, you need to look at them in a, in a, in a positive manner, okay, because there's, things are going to change. I do see that things, um, there's going to be something unexpected coming in to assist you with making this dream or this goal manifest. So it's all about you um, now going to be able to um, assert your own independence, okay. I do see this as you going solo, you going in a new direction. That release card came up as well in this week. So I, this has to do with you moving on in a new direction as well. And know that your dreams now, because you're able to do this, spread your wings and fly, that these dreams are going to happen for you because doors are opening now. Okay, there's going to be some unexpected resources and opportunities coming into you now. 
the final week of April. The first of that, the beginning of that final week in April is life experience. And that is another major card. So this is telling me that, I mean, this whole week I've seen changes in your life, okay? I've seen relationships, uh, you know, of going in different directions. Um, I've seen you having to step up and take the lead and making this major decision. So this has been a very, very active week for you, Virgo, with change, big changes in your life. And you know what? Again, it shows me that there was a significant life event that caused this to happen, okay? There could have been a death in the family, okay? There could have been, um, you, know, uh, you know, a job change and, um, you know, things changing there at your place of employment or you deciding now I'm stepping out and I'm going to do my own thing. So it's a pretty powerful revelation that, that has led you to this change they're showing me. But again, it's time for you to spread your wings. It's time for you to go out on your own. You've worked hard for that. And for some of you, this is this is just about to happen. And for others, it's already just happened. Okay, I'm seeing that. It's all about rapid changes happen, happening right now, This, you know, in the month of April for you. This third final week, all the beginning of this month has been building up to this point. So it's all about um, the beginning of the month that, caused all these changes in your life and in your relationship but all of it is good i do see that you know it was in a major major change for some of you uh virgos and now you're able to spread your wings and fly okay it's almost like i see some of you taking a deep breath of fresh air it's like wow it's over and i feel good and now i can do what i need to do in the middle of the last week of april you've been given an air card the ten of air and air cards have to do with justice, and often we have to make fair and just decisions and choices that are determined around others, okay? And sometimes it has to do with legal issues, with, uh, you know, lawyers and attorneys and courts and so on. For some of you, it may have been divorce. For some of you, it may be disbursements of property, okay, real estate. For others, I see you may have been asked something challenging like you had to witness and get up and defend uh, someone else or your information you have or, um, you know, defending someone else, not yourself. But anyway, they're showing me that some of you have had legal issues and some of you have had issues uh, that were challenging where you had to make fair and just decisions and choices and you had to consider everybody's morals, everybody's integrity, everybody's uh, input into it. And you've done that now. So it's the end. The, this 10 tells me, this 10 of air tells me that, it, that you've had to deal with these struggles. But now you're at the end of it. Things are getting better again. And you can embrace the change, okay? Know that this change was, you know, it came, you've dealt with it, and embrace it now, okay? And expect things are going to get better. That's what this change is all about, okay? You've had the struggles, you've dealt with the struggles, and now... The change is happening and uh, happening now or about to happen soon. And I want you to expect that things are going to improve because that's what it's saying is going to happen. They're showing me it's going to be improved. Now, this card is also a card to do with health issues. And if anybody is dealing with any kind of addictive behavior or addictions at all, this will be the beginning of the recovery. So things are going to improve there. Okay, so if anybody's been struggling uh, throughout with addictive behavior or addictions in general, then you know this is going to change again. Okay? Changes in the wind, my friends. So this is a good card. This is the recovering from that addiction. At the end of this reading, I did incorporate that one oracle message to tie this in. And I chose the Ascended Masters for you, Virgo, and you've been given find the blessings in your current situation. So I tell people this all the time, no matter how challenging and how difficult the situation and how tragic the situation at that time in your life is, often we sit back and we say to ourselves, well, you know, if that hadn't happened, then this would have happened. And we never think about, you know, the, the, the consequences. Uh, we just are, are focused on where we want to be. And when it doesn't happen, you know, we say, well, that went to, you know, but it didn't because in the end you need to find the blessings in your current situation, okay? So it's, it was a blessing in disguise. And when you look back hindsight, you're going to say that. You're going to say, well, you know what? This has all worked out for a reason and 
for the better. I wish you a great week, my friend, and a wonderful, optimistic month of April. Please know that I'll see you again, and I continue to stand in that circle of light for you, Virgo.